Yeah, one thing that we're seeing a lot more of uh, within our work queue uh, for the company I work for is AI pen tests, uh, bypassing guard rails and uh, prompt injection, things like that. I don't know if uh, you've seen anything like that in the consulting side, but yeah, it's that's a whole new thing that's coming up too that I don't feel like there's a ton of uh, knowledgeable testers out there in the uh, industry. So I feel like if that's, that's something that you can learn and pick up, I know Port Swigger has some uh, labs for LLM um, testing, but I feel like there's not really a ton of people out there with that experience. Yeah, you are right. I think um, I agree with you there because I, I don't, I haven't done a whole lot of AI te testing. However, I did do a web app that had a AI chat bot built into the web app. And that's just a, something that's going to get put into almost every web application going forward. Everybody's got, Oh, we got an AI for that, you know? So I feel like web app testers need to learn how to do the prompt injection and all of those. There's like a whole OS top 10 for AI testing, but there's a lot of web apps that have AI built into them. So learning how to test AI is going to set you apart for in this field in my opinion and uh, like you said there's not a lot of people that know how to do it and uh i think it's a good opportunity to jump onto especially if you're trying to break in your in the field or trying to stay relevant in the field so um i think the hard part with learning how to test ai is that there's not a lot of resources out there there's the portsmouth academy that has the ai testing uh modules but i don't know any other like ai testing resources out there yeah, for sure. Hopefully there's uh, somebody in the industry that will come in and fill that gap like a, a TCM or somebody that can actually provide some cheap training, but good training. We yeah, I'm hoping TCM jumps into that market because they already did. They already have an IoT hacking. They already have a mobile hacking. So I feel like they like to jump in those like specialized pen testing areas. And AI testing is uh, definitely a specialized testing area. So that would be really cool if they jumped into that i think it's needed in this industry very badly so the first one to make a certification for ai pen testing i think it's uh they're gonna be they're gonna be in a pretty good shape but let's go ahead and get into the last question so the final question of every episode is do you have any additional cybersecurity hot takes or hidden wisdom you would like to share with the audience you know for once i don't i think i'm gonna be your first guest i don't think i have anything for you sir <laughs> Oh, all right. We got to drop a nugget bomb. So I started a new thing, audience, and it is my email newsletter. And the way you sign up to my email newsletter is you go to my website, kaiserclerk.com. You put your email in there and you give me your email. And every Monday I give all my email subscribers my fresh piece of content that doesn't touch my YouTube channel, my podcast, and my uh, blog. So it's it's time exclusive. So this stuff might make it in a way it's to the YouTube channel, the blog post, and the podcast. But the email that I sent today was baby cybersecurity enthusiast. By the time this episode hits, that email was sent out a month ago. So it's still time exclusive content. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this. What I mean by baby cybersecurity enthusiast is I get a lot of questions about like how to break in the field. I get a lot of, I feel like I get a lot of the same questions and I make a lot of content to answer these questions. And I feel like people just aren't getting it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like a lot of people need to be spoon fed information. And sometimes it drives me nuts. It drives me a little bit nuts. So here's my word of wisdom. You have to be able to think for yourself, right? You can't be expected someone to spoon feed you answers all the time. It's okay to ask questions, but when it's a common question, the chances of me answering the question, if you dive in my DMs, is going to be slim because I've already answered the question in a podcast or a video or one of my live streams. So I would say consume my content before you ask me questions in my DMs because I can't reply to everybody, unfortunately. And that's a little bit of a hot take, but and it's wisdom at the same time. So what do you think about that, Dice? You know, I think I think you're uh, spot on with that. I think for some people, they do need to be spoon-fed. At the end of the day, you're responsible for your own career path and your own growth, right? And if you are truly interested in a subject, um, whether it be learning a language, learning InfoSec, learning pen testing, what, what have you, at the end of the day, 
it's up to you as the person uh, to grow your path and uh, become a, another professional. So do your research. Don't be afraid to Google things. Don't be afraid to ask things. And if you can help mentor somebody who's coming up beside you, sometimes teaching the, somebody that you already know actually opens the gate for yourself. Um, I mean, know it may seem a little bit backwards, but help mentor the next uh, generation of uh, InfoSec people that are coming up that are where you are two years ago. You know, we're always learning and growing. So help the next generation. Good words to live by. If you enjoyed this clip from the Hackers Cash podcast, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. And if you want to watch the full episode, you can get that by clicking here. Or if you want to watch the best video for you according to the YouTube algorithm, you can get that right here. See you in the next video.